workers at an interim finance committee meeting got an earful from residents of Windsor Park here in town and from environmental activists over the governor's most recent idea to redirect millions of federal dollars allocated to rebuild sinking homes there toward renters assistance. Federal dollars would be swapped out with state general funds. Our Andrew Nomura has been tracking this story. Hey, Dana. Yeah, it was a packed house here at the legislative building off of Warren Springs as Windsor Park residents aired out their concerns over Governor Joe Lombardo's most recent idea. Environmental activists believe this is an attempt to delay justice for so many families. No, I wasn't happy to hear my governor say, if it doesn't get used, he wants to take a chunk and use it somewhere else. Really? This is our hold up. They're fighting against us, not with us. The living conditions of the Windsor Park families must be prioritized, and any attempt to divert these funds is unacceptable. Windsor Park have been sinking for decades, displacing a whole community. It is not lost on me that this community is predominantly black. Think about that for a second. Well, one by one, residents from Windsor Park, along with activists, addressed lawmakers at this morning's interim finance committee meeting where the Nevada Division of Housing was set to deliver an update of the Windsor Park project. To give you or bring you up to speed, in 2023, Governor Joe Lombardo signed Senate Bill 450, also known as the Windsor Park Environmental Justice Act, which allocated $37 million to rebuild up to 93 homes in an adjacent neighborhood. But weeks ago, Governor Joe Lombardo and his team sent lawmakers a letter asking to replace $25 million of that what was allocated, which are federal funds, with instead exchange that with the state's general fund, with money from the state's general fund. His reasoning, according to his chief of staff, federal dollars has a deadline of December 2026, and the project is, is about eight months behind schedule. And in order to not lose those federal funds, let's make a swap and we redirect those federal dollars towards renters' assistance. A move that would need additional legislative action which takes more time. This news led to an uproar, residents giving a side eye to the governor because they've waited for years for help. Activists say if the governor cared so much, he wouldn't have vetoed multiple housing bills during last year's legislative session. Governor, Windsor Park, it's about time you do something for the residents of Windsor Park. We've been here for a long time. We've had a lot of disappointments. We are part of Nevada, just like any other community. All right, we do have an update from the Nevada Housing Division, and I was also told uh, this update earlier on this week. The soil testing is completed. Uh, we should know the results of that soil uh, test by the end of next week. Additionally, the Nevada Housing Division says that they have identified 30 landowners in Saboya Park, the uh, adjacent uh, a neighborhood where these homes are set to be rebuilt at. 30 landowners ha are willing to sell their property in order to rebuild those homes. And there are currently a total of 45 residents in Windsor Park who are currently eligible for this program. Dana, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Okay, Andrew, thank you very much. And thanks for following this story for us as well. We appreciate that.